Hey guys, sorry it's uh, been a minute since the last time I've um, been making videos on YouTube. Um, like I said, my um, old Radio Shack mono plug was not working. Uh, the other end where I plug it in where it has like the microphone logo to my computer tower, um, it hasn't been working. Um, I'm guessing maybe when I push in my chair when I'm not doing videos or whatever, it probably got damaged when I accidentally probably, you know, happened to let the chair hit it. You know, it was obviously an accident. I wouldn't do anything on purpose, you know, to damage. So I'm guessing that's what happened. So I had to order a new uh, mono plug. So I got a new mono plug. It came in uh, last Friday in mail and um here i am back to making videos so i apologize for that hopefully you all had a wonderful labor day having a nice labor day dinner anyways we already know we all know about this that um this woman pictured in this video Nicki minaj has retired Nicki retired due to her wanting to start a family um, I would like to say good for her, you know, if that's what she wants to do, then that's what she wants to do. But I'm sure everybody who never liked Nicki Minaj and her music, but mainly her music overall, I'm sure you have been thrilled and excited that she is no longer going to be rapping. When I first saw that she retired, in my mind, I was extremely happy, like, Oh, yeah, she finally retired. I thought this day would never come. I honestly thought her career should have came to an end when she came out with that stupid whole song, but still had a career after that. Years later, after she released that song, she finally retires. I'm sure her fans are outraged. If they are, they need to relax because they're not making themselves or anyone else feel better. Who knows? She might come out of retirement in the future. I hope not, but who knows? The point is, she wants to start a family. So, once again, good for her. Since she got money out of that plastic bubble butt ass of hers. You know who also needs to retire? Lil Wayne. He's 36, just like Nicki. Lil Wayne will be 37 on September 27th. Nicki will be 37 on December 8th. Lil Wayne needs to follow Nicki into retirement. I remember years about Lil Wayne retiring in the past, but they end up being nothing but rumors. I wish those rumors were true. If I hear about Lil Wayne re retiring, then I expect to have some proof that he is retiring. Don't troll me saying he's retired, but he's not. Like you're trolling me and others who don't care for Lil Wayne who want him to retire just to piss us off. That's not cool. If it's true that Lil Wayne is retiring, then I respect him to retire. The man needs to retire, okay? His music sucks. He's garbage. He's not the greatest rapper alive like most people claim he is. No. I would love for Iggy Azalea to retire as well. In fact, Iggy Azalea has pretty much been quiet for some time now. Um, she's not really talked about as much, which I must say is a good thing. I guess this is a sign that her career has pretty much wind down. And if so, good. Because she didn't need no rap career. She didn't need a rap career. And I hope that Cardi B retires. But as of right now, Cardi B is still uh, a big sensation as a female rapper. But she needs to retire. Either she retires or put into jail. Okay, like I said, this is the same woman who admitted years ago about her drugging men. But ever since then, nothing has happened to Cardi B. And I think that's sexist. I'm, I'm thinking they're probably not doing anything or she hasn't been arrested because she's a female. I don't care if she's a female. I don't care if she has a vagina. If she admitted that, that she drugged men, then something needs to be done. She needs to be in prison. But no, apparently that's not going to happen. That is so unfair. What is this? Is the Me Too movement involved in this crap? I know life is not fair always, but when it comes to this sense of Cardi B not being arrested when she admitted to drugging man, 
it needs to be fair. I'm just saying. I understand women deserve their rights and whatnot, but uh, men deserve their rights too now, don't they? Everybody deserve their human rights, besides just women. I just think the Me Too movement seemed like at times they probably push it a bit too far. Just stop it. Anyways, that's my thoughts on uh, Nicki Minaj being retired. Tell me your thoughts. I'm sure you guys are happy and thrilled that she's retired. But do you think that she might change her mind and come out of retirement, even though you hope and pray she doesn't? But either way, even with Nicki Minaj being retired, music as a whole still sucks. Okay, rap music in the mainstream is still garbage when Drake and Lil Wayne and Rick Ross and Cardi B and all these other trash crappers are still making music. All right. R&B, I don't think is good as it used to be. R&B has pretty much become what rap in the mainstream is now. You know, constantly talking about sex, 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 all that cookie cutter bull crap. Pop really isn't the same anymore. Um, I hear a lot of people say that rock isn't as good as it used to be. And uh, country has pretty much fallen off. Like I said, I've never been a big fan of country. But I don't know. It seems like country has um, fallen as well. I mean, you'll have country artists like <laughs> Luke Bryan coming out with that country girl shake it for me, girl. Shake it for me, girl. Got that song about... Get, having the country girl sh shake it, talking about he got a big boom in his big truck and, and all this crap. I wouldn't be surprised. There's probably some country singers um, today who probably have songs about um, having sex with country girls in the back of their big pickup truck. Who's to say? It seems like the only really good music genre out is just jazz, especially smooth jazz. It's like, why don't you just get all those those trash rappers to retire already and leave the game to the, the ones who actually have talent. And especially the rappers in the underground. You know, leave it to um, J. Cole and, and Kendrick Lamar, my boy Lupe Fiasco. Leave that to them, those rappers. I can't believe that 2019 is almost over with, guys. I mean, we're heading into a new era, 2020. I'm actually kind of scared because I just, I don't know if, if music is going to get better in the 2020s. You know, music and television, you know, if all these reality shows are still going to be around, like, the, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians and, you know, and, and, and the Black Ink crew and shows that are like Basketball Wives and all this team mom crap. You know, these reality shows that are mainly scripted, even though it's supposed to be reality. It's like, ugh. I wish reality shows would just go away already. I'm just worried for the future in 2020s and I just hope things get better. Then I'm, I'm thinking I'm afraid it might get worse. I don't know. All right, that's it. See you later.